Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and today I'm reviewing Halo Reach Series 4 Brute Miner. So anyways, the Brute Miner, along with the rest of Series 4, has just been recently released. The stores you can currently find it at are Toys R Us, but it has not shown up yet at Target, Walmart, or GameStop, but it will be in the next few weeks. And the retail price on him is $10.99. So let's go over the packaging first. As you can see, it's in the same exact design that they've been using for all the Reach figures so far. We have the Battle of Reach background. Really, really nice rendered picture of the Brute Miner. 28 moving parts, new character. On the back here, we have the rest of the figures from Series 4. We have George, the Red Spartan EVA, which is exclusive to Target. The Steel Spartan ODST, which is exclusive to GameStop. The Rust Spartan CQC, which is exclusive to Toys R Us. The, Spartan, the Blue Spartan Mark V. The Rust Armor Pack, which is exclusive to Toys R Us. The UNSC Marine. The Brute Miner, which I'm currently reviewing, the Grunt Major, the Elite General, and the Red Armor Pack, which is exclusive to Target. So anyways, let's go over this figure here. This is the first Brute figure that McFarlane has released in the Halo Reach line so far, and this one's pretty damn cool. It's really, really tall, and it also is very muscular looking. Um, but anyways, there's also another Brute that's supposed to be released in Series 5, which is the Brute Chieftain, which I cannot wait for. Anyways, the accessories that he comes with, he comes with one plasma grenade, and he comes with one peg, and he also comes with a brand new weapon, which is the Spiker, or Spike Rifle. Um, so this one, you know, it's nothing really new that we've seen. It's a different sculpt. It's not the same one that they used with the Halo 3 figures. It's a lot smaller this time around. Not sure why, but it is. It's got this uh, really nice metallic paint job over the whole entire thing to give it a wear and tear look. It's got the straps going around the handle. It's also got even a trigger right there, which looks pretty cool. It's a peg hole right there. There's also two Covenant logos, one located on both sides where the silver part is. And also on the barrels here, it has a orange and yellow paint job. So that's pretty much it for the spiker there. Let's put it back onto this figure. It does look a little bit small though when he the brute here he's holding it, but oh well. Uh, that's all he has for accessory wise. The helmet is not removable though, so I'm a little disappointed about that. Just looking forward to popping it off though and displaying it like that maybe, but oh well. Anyways, uh, this figure has an amazing amount of detail, mainly because, you know, he does not wearing any clothing, so they have to sculpt the entire uh, body skin of him. He is wearing some clothing, you know, such as these uh, shoulder armor pads, uh, the chest plate armor, as well as the groin cough down here. But other than that, you know, there's nothing really else. He does have these straps down here on his um, lower portion of his legs, as well as his forearms here. Those look pretty cool, because they're detailed real nicely as well. But as you can see, there is an immense amount of detailing here for the skin. It just looks amazing. You can't really describe how much detailing it is until you see this figure in hand. I mean, it's so awesome. I love this guy. There's also these tattoos that they put on his uh, belly right here, his chest, as well as his uh, upper arms and his shoulder area. And those are really cool looking too. And they're outlined in this gray color, which looks fantastic. You can't really see it that well because it's really faint, but it's pretty damn awesome looking. So anyways, the detailing wise is amazing on this figure. Um, there's also two Covenant logos located on his chest plate here, one on both sides. There's also Covenant logos on the shoulder plates here on both sides as well. So anyways, I really like this uh, chest plate armor here. It doesn't really do much for protecting the uh, character itself, uh, but it does have a really nice design to it. And the blue metallic paint job just looks fantastic. I love this metallic paint that's on the shoulder plates as well as the helmet. But, as you can see, there's a really nice look at the head sculpt of this figure here. They sculpted the teeth pretty nice, and the eyes are sunken back into the helmet, which gives it a really evil, like, look to it, which is really intimidating looking. Uh, even the jaw is actually articulated, which is just amazing. I love that. They also did that with the Tartarus figure back in the Halo 3 line, which I believe was Series 7, if I'm correct. Uh, but that's really cool that they did that. Um, here on the back of the figure, they actually sculpted some hair on the upper portion of the torso, which looks pretty cool. There's even more of those tattoos that stretch around. Um, and there's these straps down here, and there's a larger strap on his thigh. But anyways, you know, you can't really describe the detailing, like I said. You have to see this figure in person to see how awesome it really is. Uh, so, articulation for him. He has a ball-jointed head, ball-hinged shoulders, ball-hinged elbows, 
He also has swivel biceps. Uh, he has ball jointed wrists, ball jointed waist, ball jointed hips, ball hinged knees, and ball jointed uh, ankles. You can't really move the ankles that much. You can rotate them back and forth, but you can slightly move them up and down if you want to. But you know, it's not really that much movable. So. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this figure. You get a brand new spiker, you get a plasma grenade, and you get a really awesome figure. I also want to compare him here and just show you guys how big this figure actually really is. So here's the Marine, which is also from Series 4, and as you can see, he's a good another, uh, I'd say, two to three inches taller. And then if you compare him with a Spartan here real quick, you can see he's just really huge. That's about another inch and a half to two inches taller. But he is also hunched over right now. He's not as his, he's not at his full erect uh, height. So um, this figure can actually stand up a, actually a little bit more taller. But I kind of have him hunched over to get him to stand up properly. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this review. I'm gonna go ahead and rate him a five out of five. Amazing amount of detail. Really awesome figure, and I highly recommend you pick him up. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy this review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.